Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I decided to do like a crazy little video, just a kind of like a Friday kind of thing, and show you a couple of things I can't live without. I need these things, I use these things pretty much on a daily basis, just kind of like my favorite things. Um, obviously there are other things I can't live without and they're kind of, these are kind of frivolous, but just kind of a fun little video for today. One of the things I cannot live without is my iPhone. I have the iPhone 6, I just got it not even a week ago. Um, I love it because I can stay connected with my friends and family, it takes awesome pictures, um, and it's how I communicate with my husband every day. So that's my background, our anniversary picture, second anniversary picture. So yes, I cannot live without my iPhone. Another thing I can't live without is my teddy bear. His name is Leo, Leo the Leopard. I got him almost four years ago on uh, Valentine's Day, um, my second Valentine's Day with my husband. And he was even in my wedding photos because I cannot live without him. Another thing I can't live without, no, these are not in order, is my princess Bible. I read it every night before I go to bed. It's meant for young children. And see, like, very princessy and, and whatnot and I remember when I bought it the woman said oh there's gonna be a happy little girl because it's an international children's bible I said yeah me um children's bibles I find are easier to read and who doesn't love pink glitter does she want to come in now no okay oh th there's a, like a surprise at the end another thing I can't live without is my Zoella makeup bag that I got for Christmas from my sister. I love it because I have these glasses and I also have a guinea pig. She doesn't really look like this, but it's why I love it. It's not because it's Zoella, it's because it has a guinea pig with my glasses on it. And you all know I love guinea pigs. Another thing I can't live without is my scents. I I am allergic to perfume. I sneeze all the time, but it's worth it because I love my scents. Some of my signature scents are Coach Love. I absolutely adore Michael Kors. Michael, um, I believe this is Michael Kors Gold. Is another one of my signature scents. This I got for Christmas from my other sister. Um, it's Turquatic by Mac, and she was wearing it one day, and I'm like, "What is that perfume?" And she's like, "It's Mac." I said, "I need that perfume." Oh my god! I'm just gonna. Oh my god! It smells so good. Anyway, so this is like my go-to scent lately. I absolutely love it. It was such a surprise for my sister. Coach Poppy is another one of my signature scents. I really adore this one. And another one that was really surprised, I'm not her biggest fan, um, but I do find this smells wonderful, is Wonderstruck by Taylor Swift. I actually, I'm going to smell it right now. It smells really nice, very fruity, very, I don't know, I really like it. So that was another one. I also wear um, Marc Jacobs Alola and Marc Jacobs Daisy, but I don't know where those are right now. So those are pretty much my signature scents. Um, I will go without makeup, but I find if you just put, I will need a little bit of eyeshadow. Even if I'm going out without makeup, I like a little bit of eyeshadow. So I really only need one eyeshadow palette and it's the Naked 3. Everybody loves this palette. It is my go-to palette for everything if you told me I could pick one palette for the rest of my life, it would be this one because it goes with my skin tone perfectly. I love the colors. It is just my favorite. I treated this, um, treated myself to this about a year ago on my birthday and I absolutely adore it. I've got the two. I don't have the one, but I have the two, but the three is my favorite. Now, last but not least, there's something very important I cannot live without. And sorry, Zachary, it's not you. Oh! Yeah, I realized I wasn't, <laughs> my I wasn't the most important thing in her life. Hi! Hi, my baby! This is my baby. This is... Hi! Hi! What you doing? This is my baby. And she is two and almost two and a half years old. And her name is Betty White. And I'm not going to say her last name. Because we want to protect your privacy, Betty. But her name is Betty White. Um, Betty hyphen White, after the actress. Um, but she also goes by <clears throat> Betty Boo. Yes, that's your name. And Elizabeth Taylor White. Because she has an attitude. And I cannot live without this precious little thing. I can't live without you. I know you could live without me, Betty. I know. Um, sometimes I think it's a one-way relationship. Unless there's food involved. Unless there's food involved. Unless, yeah, unless there's food involved. 
Okay, so, um, yeah, I cannot live without her. She is my favorite precious little thing, even though she is going to bite my boob. I love her very much. So those are kind of the things I can't live without on a daily basis. Obviously, like my family, my friends, and whatever, but... I want to do this a little bit frivolously. If you like these videos, please comment down below. Subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I would love to do more of them. Uh, yeah, hi! <laughs> My guinea pig is wondering what the hell is going on. Why are we in front of a TV cuddling? So we are going to go do that now. It's getting quite late. Thank you so much for watching this video. We will see you in my next one. Say bye, Betty. Say bye.